and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to print a specific selection of cells in Google Sheets. So I'm going to use as an example this meal planner. This is a meal planner and an automated grocery list builder. So in the end, you're going to want to print your grocery list. So what you do is you're going to select the cells that you want to print and there you're going to click on file, print. So as you can see right here, I'm seeing every single thing in my sheet. That's because the current sheet option is selected. So you're going to select the selected cells option right here. And then you're going to select the size. So I'm going to do letter. And then you're going to select if you want it to be landscape or portrait. And then you can play with these options and customize your scale, your margins. So if you click on headers and footers and you go all the way down below, you're going to see this section that says repeat frozen rows and repeat frozen columns. So if your template has any frozen rows or columns, usually this option might be checked by default. So this column right here is fixed. So as you can see, it's fixed right here. And I do not want it showing up on my printable version. So if I go to file and print, then I select the selected cells option. If this option is checked, it's gonna show that frozen column right there, which I don't want. So if this is happening to you, you just have to scroll all the way down in the headers and footer section and uncheck these boxes. So now I'm gonna show you with this, this section is a bit bigger. So let's say we have this right here. So I do not want that to show up. So I'm gonna go to file, print. And then right here, as you can see that there's that text that I just input. So I'm gonna do selected cells and that text disappeared. Then I'm gonna change it to landscape and I can do fit to width, for example, and it's going to get as big as the width, but then it's going to jump over to a second page. So if I don't want that, I can do the fix to page option. I can change it to portrait. I can do the, the margins. I can make them wider, narrower, Normal. So that's pretty much it. The most important thing you need to know is that uh, you have to select the selected cells option. And if there's fixed columns and rows, you can just uncheck this and it'll work perfectly fine. Then you can just move on to print and you're good. 